It feels fantastic. It's been too long. It's been way too long coming. Was this do or die? Uh, there was no die. There was only do. But in terms, I guess, in four losses coming into this, did you feel like that, that, that your shot staying with the UFC, was that the career, I guess, was on the line? That's, that's anything. You can come from the first fight, lose. That, that's the thing about this game. You can lose. That, that's what I keep telling people. You lose because that's part of the game. We lose because it's part of the game. What are you going to do? You're going to quit? You're going to stop? Champions don't quit. Champions don't stop. We just keep going no matter what. What was the game plan coming in? Knock him out. Just did? There was it. no other way around it. I was going to knock him out. And I was going to take his head home to my family. You talked a little bit about family and what this man, I mean, how tough has it been being away from the family? I mean, and, and, and talk a little bit more about what this meant for them as well. Um, it's, it's been kind of tough. I mean, not horrible. I have a good team around me to keep me busy, keep me occupied. You know, my family, they check in with me as much as they can, and, and I can't thank them enough for that, for staying up late in Hawaii. Right now it's past 12, you know. They're all up waiting for me to win, and, and I'm happy I got to bring it to them. What was the biggest difference? I mean, what do you think the switch was from those losses to, to coming out and having such a I had a son. That's it? I had a son. That I think... There's nothing in this world that's ever motivated me. I've been fighting all these years for myself. Never in my life have I ever had to feed another mouth, fight for someone else, and support someone else. Makes it go on the training and all that stuff. Worth it. That, huh? Yes. I earn my time with him as much as I can. I love it. You had mentioned something out there. You said you were either part of the next generation, or maybe it was when he was talking about the Hawaii fighters or something, but speak a little bit to what you meant when you said about the next generation The fighters. upcoming fighters, me, Max Holloway, Yancey Medeiros, Lewis Smoke with the Hawaii fighters you see now in the UFC, like we're already bringing up the new, the new guys, the Martin Days, the Edward Thomases, the Shaden Lealohas. When you guys see them, you guys are gonna know exactly what I'm talking about. Well, a lot of times people talk about the Hawaiian fighting spirit. What does that mean to you? It, it means exactly what it is. You know what I mean? Everybody has a spirit. The Japanese, they fight for their own. But the Hawaiians, you see it. No Hawaiian ever gives up. Hawaiians don't quit. Hawaiians don't stop. Hawaiians are trying to stop you, finish you, hurt you from beginning to end. How soon do you want to get back in there? Like, um, you know, I want to take my family on a small vacation. I want to show them how much I appreciate them supporting me. And you know what I mean? Right after that, I'm ready to get back into the gym. So I'm going to say September-ish, maybe, depending on how long this vacation goes. <laughs> Any names make sense? None. I, 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 I don't call out anybody. Sean Shelby does that job. He's going to come. He's going he's gonna to ask. He's going to tell me, and I'm going to say yes. Take it. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Thank you, guys.